give it just a couple minutes here. See who's getting on. Once you get on, comment uh, where you're uh, where you're dialing in from here. Let's see who's on. We're still building the audience. There you go. Hit the like button. Comment. Let me know who's on. Here we go. Hey, Jerry, how are you, buddy? It's good to see you. We'll give it a few minutes here. We'll get everybody on, and then we're going to get started. Deborah from Toronto, welcome. How's the weather in uh, in Canada, Deborah? Sajad, my good friend. Welcome, buddy. Jerry, Sue Schwartz from Ohio, welcome. Pat from Shelby, North Carolina. <laughs> Mike Como, hey, buddy. Ben Steed, I'm planning on it, man. Andrea from Michigan, welcome. Brandon Ray, buddy, how are you? How's Alabama? Give it a couple minutes. Guys, if you want to like this, share it. Um, this is designed specifically for ACN folks, uh, but it will be very effective in, in, in any type of business. Um, good morning, Sajad. Pat Whaley, welcome. Alex, yes, sir. Deborah, you says negative nine. Is that uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit? Wisconsin, Judy, how's the weather in Wisconsin? <clears throat> Ira Herb, Terry's Tires, Jacksonville, Florida, welcome, buddy. Stan Comer, Indiana, welcome, buddy. Sue, we're going to give it a couple more minutes here. Everybody comment. Let me know where you're dialing in from. Becky from Grand Rapids, welcome. Sherry Burgess, welcome. Kevin Kearney, hey, brother. Can't wait to see you guys this weekend. Savannah, Georgia. We're going to give it another minute here to make sure we get everybody on New Hampshire's cold, Pam says. Welcome. Hey, Stan. Jive, welcome from Australia. Brother, it's uh, it's midnight, man. I appreciate you being on. Ira, welcome. We'll give it a few more minutes, a couple more minutes here, and then we're going to get rolling, <clears throat> get started. We've got uh, I've got some really important information. Plus, I'm going to be showing everybody on this uh, this Facebook Live how to do an effective presentation. So if you have anyone um, that are, are starting to present, really becoming leaders in your business, uh, definitely get on because we're going to be talking about presenting here in just a couple of minutes. Aubrey, welcome. Doris from the Netherlands, welcome. We have people from all over the world here. Judy, <laughs> 27 degrees, like so swimsuit. It's 61 degrees here, just so you know. It was a little too chilly to do this outside. <clears throat> All right, guys, well, let's jump straight into it. Let's share this, comment on it, let us know where you're on from. Uh, let's get the number up. Let's get everybody on today. Uh, today, uh, I, I wanted to talk to everybody about the three things to master uh, to become a regional vice president and a senior vice president in ACN. Uh, this is a specific uh, topic uh, for people who want to take their business to the next level. And I'm just telling you, if you have people in your group or you're getting started, this is going to be an incredible uh, amount of information or incredible information for you to be able to take your business to the next level. And, you know, the first thing that we want to talk about, there's three things to master when it comes to uh, taking your business to the next level. And I actually designed this training for our executive team leader call that we do uh, every week because in our business, the executive team leader position is what I call the decision position. It's the position where you have to stretch because the jump from executive team leader to team coordinator is quite substantial. And the reason that they pay you three times to four times the amount of money at team coordinators they do at executive team leader is because you've gone through the process, you've earned as you learned, and now it's time to get paid. And so today I'm going to give you the three topics that will help you not just to push from executive team leader to team coordinator, but really if you master these three things to go regional vice president platinum and also senior vice president. But first of all, the first thing that we want to talk about is you must become an effective presenter. <clears throat> you must become an effective presenter. Now, what do I mean by that? That means that you need to present and people need to take action. See, here's the challenge in our business. The better you get, the less effective you become. The better you get, the more you talk. The better you get, the more knowledge you have, the more you feel like you have to dump that knowledge 
on people. And I remember I was doing, I was at a meeting one night with senior vice president, Mr. Michael Mazur. And I remember, um, I was over in the corner and I was trying to explain everything to some lady who was a guest there. And I was just talking about direct TV. And if a tree was in the way, they had to move it and they, and they might have to point the satellite in a different way. And I'm just absolutely throwing up on this lady. And, and Mike Mazur tapped me on the shoulder and he said, Hey, somebody's asking for you over here. And he intercepted this lady and fixed the damage I had done by overwhelming her. I went over to look for the person asking for me and there was nobody there, right? He just wanted to get me away from over talking. So there's a couple things that I want to talk to you about. And then I'm going to do a quick presentation to show you what an effective one through 10 presentation can look like. Literally in five or six minutes, you can present this business effectively. And the more you talk, the less that you accomplish. But there's a couple of ground rules that I want to tell you. First and foremost, don't ever embellish the ACN opportunity. Don't ever exaggerate the ACN opportunity. After seven and a half years in this business, one thing I know, this company was built on integrity. The gentlemen, the four gentlemen that founded this company have pure integrity. Uh, they're the kind of people that you want your kids to grow up to be like. And, and most people never see that because they read on Google what somebody said who has no idea what we do. So understand it's very important that you, as a presenter, you're honest. You don't over exaggerate. You don't over promote. You don't say things that aren't that aren't 100 true. See, here's what I've learned about ACM. Our model is awesome, exactly the way it is. It doesn't need any help. All you have to do is read the paper, and people get it. I mean, can we agree? This business makes sense. I mean, you can get started for under 500. dollars You can get five cell phone customers, and your cell phone bill is now free from now on. If that's all people understand, can we agree? It just makes sense. The problem is people get excited, presenters get excited, and they talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, and they talk people into the business and out of the business in the same conversation. So I'm going to do a quick one through 10 presentation, actually it's now a one through eight, and show you guys how I would present in a home meeting. So the first thing you must master is presenting effectively. So here goes. So at the home meeting, they've introduced me. I've given it back to the host. And I say, we're just going to take a look at ACN tonight. <clears throat> First of all, ACN was founded in 1993. This is our 24th year of operation. We're a customer acquisition company, and we operate in 25 countries around the world. And, and now we're doing nearly a billion dollars in revenue, which makes us the largest direct seller of telecommunications, energy, and essential services in the world. Now, what I love, if you look in box number two, is ACN markets essential services, services everyone has to use and always will for the rest of their life. They allow people like you and me to start our own business and literally get customers, and then anytime these customers pay a bill, we earn residual income. So the services are, first of all, wireless, that's cell phone service, energy, gas and electricity, high-speed internet, security and automation, uh, digital business and home phone service, television service, and now payment processing where we can literally get paid every time a business swipes a credit card. So how many by show of hands like the idea of getting paid every time anyone you know pays one of these bills naturally? You see there, it says strive for five. In addition to that, we can actually show you how to get your services for free. We do that at our training class. Now, how do we do this? Look in box number three. It's very simple. We use relationship marketing. We simply bypass all forms of traditional advertising, and we go directly to the customer. And because it's a relationship, the customer stays on the service longer. And so these big companies pay us a lot of money to acquire those customers for them. Now, if you look in box four, here was my favorite part. It's $499 one time to own your own global business. Your business literally is a storefront, kind of like an Amazon or an Expedia, where anyone in 25 countries can acquire customers in their home or business, and because they went through your storefront, you get paid every time they pay the bill. Now, your business is willable as well, so if something happened to you, your family would inherit those customers' uh, residuals every time people pay the bill. Now, how do we get paid? 
If you look in box number five, it's very simple. The first way we get paid is called personal residual income. This is where we get paid up to 10% of all of our personal customers' bills every month. So we run around, get some customers, help some people save money on their bills, and then every time they pay their bill, we earn up to 10% in residual income. But look in box number six. This is what got me excited about ACM because it allows me to leverage myself. See, J. Paul Getty said this, I would rather make 1% of 100 people's efforts than 100% of my own effort. So in this uh, example here, you can actually introduce this concept to other people. Now, how many here tonight, by show of hands, know someone who maybe is a little dissatisfied with something? Maybe they're working harder than they've worked for less money than they've ever worked. All you have to do is invite them over and I'll come to a presentation. We'll help them get started and get some customers. And then you make a little percentage of the customers that they acquire. Now, if you look here, here's a hypothetical just to kind of show you how the income might work in ACM. This hypothetical just simply says, assume that you as an independent business owner introduced two people to ACM. And that's all you ever did. And, and those two people did the same thing and everybody just got five services. Now, can we agree this is conservative? In my home, I have five cell phones, uh, not to mention all the other services, but let's just play along for a second. Assume each person just get five services with an average monthly bill of $30. Guys, that's a monthly residual income of over $2,000 a month. Now, how many $2,000 a month would impact your life if it was coming in residually every 30 days? Guys, here's what I loved. None of my bills are $30. How many people in the room, your bills are over $50? How many of your electric bills over $100? So can we do our own math and realize what's possible in this business? Great. Well, look in box number seven, because this is the third way we make money. As we're building our residual income, ACN pays us upfront money when we help someone new get customers. See, we make no money in this business recruiting or signing people up. We can't make any money when someone gets started. We get paid a bonus to help a new person acquire customers and create residual income for their family. I love it because it's a win-win. Now, if you see these positions within our compensation plan, they start at qualified team trainer, they go all the way to the right at senior vice president. And as you go through the AC and compensation plan, they pay you bonuses starting out at $30 all the way up to $470 for every single new person you help earn, begin to earn residual income. But if you look in box number 10, is, I mean, box number 8, it's training and support. This is what it all comes down to. You see, it's very systematic what we do. It's very similar to a franchise model in that what we do is very predictable. But w w our goal is tonight is to show you what we do. And then if you have interest, we have a training class to teach you how to do it. Now, there's two people in the room, two types of people. Number one, you say, listen, I'm not interested in the business. Uh, I'm just interested in saving some money. Awesome. Listen, this is John's meeting. John's going to give you a survey to fill out. And let me tell you, it would be a blessing for you to be John's customer. Yeah, he'll, he won't ask you the way I'll ask you for him. Uh, but you being a customer to him will make you his hero uh, today. Now, the people in here that say, listen, if anybody's going to get paid on my bills, it's going to be me. Anybody who's going to create free services off my bills, it's going to be me. If that's you tonight, let me ask you a question. How many can do what John did? How many can get started, come to a training class, and then invite me over to, to, to talk to your contacts. How many can do that by show of hands? Okay, great. Flip to the next page. We're going to get you started now. And then we fill out the form, and that's it. Guys, anything more than that, and you're talking people in and out of the greatest opportunity on the face of the planet. Guys, let me ask you a question. How many 24-year-old companies out there have A-plus ratings with the Better Business Bureau with every single one of their divisions and is, is ground floor with less than 1% market share and on the cusp of deregulation throughout the world when it comes to the largest shift of wealth ever. Guys, it's ACN. We have the greatest opportunity. It does not need to be sold. It needs to be explained. I'm going to repeat that. It doesn't need to be sold. It needs to be explained. And if you just simply get good at explaining it. Now, all of you here that are leaders, I want you to do this. I want you to go buy a, a, a poster board at Walmart or wherever you are. And I see people we have all over the world. That was a North America, a U.S. presentation, by the way. So you can extrapolate things and put it into your presentation from that. But I want everybody to go get you a poster board. Draw 10 horizontal lines and 10 vertical lines. That will make 100 squares. And what I want you to do is I want you to present effectively to 100 people. 
That's what I want you to do. If 10 of them are in a home meeting or PBR, put 10 names down. If it's a one-on-one, you need to do 100 of them. But once you've done 100 presentations and kept it super simple, you will be an effective presenter. So the second thing you need to master, the first thing is becoming an effective presenter. The second thing you need to master is qualifying fast. Write that down, qualifying fast. You see, you want to increase your numbers and decrease your time frames. You see, when you get someone started, they're super excited. And then they talk to their brother-in-law who tells them, I would never do that. And they lose 25% of their excitement. And if you don't get them a win, a victory, can we agree it's only $500? $500 is easy to forget. Now, I'm not saying making light of $500. Trust me, when I got in, we were, we were struggling. But can we agree we can go to our closet or to our garage and most likely find some $500 mistakes, right? You don't want them to miss the greatest opportunity for their family, the greatest blessing for their family because someone steals it from them because we did not take action fast. So launch them and qualify them immediately as soon as possible in this business. Get them their first victory. So the first thing is presenting effectively. The second thing is qualifying fast. Think about it this way. If you have someone get started in your business and it takes 30 days to qualify them, how many times can they do that in a year? 12. What happens if you sign someone up and you sit down with them that afternoon and within 24 hours they're qualified? You could literally do that 365 times in a calendar year. Do you understand how much more you can get done 365 times than it taking 12 times to do the same work. See, that's how you go fast. You ask people, how do these people hit RVP in eight months or SVP in a year or, or RVP in a year? It's because they simply did the same amount of work to hit that position. They just crammed it into a shorter time frame. So qualifying fast. The third ingredient or the third thing you must master is becoming a master promoter. A master promoter. So first of all, present effectively. Secondly, qualify fast. Third, master promoting. You see, one thing that I did is I was absolutely dogmatic. I was, I was so laser focused, tunnel vision on one thing when I got started, and that was promoting the next event. Whether it's a call, whether it's a Facebook Live, whether it's a, a, a Saturday training or a BOM, or whether it's the national convention. Because we have people on this uh, call right now who are getting on planes in Australia and flying to Sydney because tomorrow uh, starts the international training event in Sydney. Why do I tell you that? Because promoting that effectively is what launches your business. Because when that person comes in, their excitement's here. But every day that they don't have a victory, they lose 25% of their excitement. Uh, four days in, the average person has lost why they got started in ACM. So I tell you that because what I do is I have a chart in my house where I'm working in my team. I make sure, if you want to go RVP, that you have four teams of people represented at every event. So if it's a Sunday night call, make sure you have four people represented on the Sunday night call. If it's a uh, an international training, make sure you have four teams coming to the international training event. If it's home meetings during the week, make sure that you have PBRs in four teams in your, in your uh, business. If you're going team coordinator, let's say you're an executive team leader and you're jumping to team coordinator, here's the thing. Number one, effectively presenting. We just talked about it. Number two, qualifying fast and condensing time frames. And the third thing is three teams to everything. Three teams at Saturday training. Three teams with PBRs this week. Three teams to the national convention. And it will predict you going to the next position of team coordinator. See, what we do is very simple. But it can be made very complicated. Like everybody on here is on your computer or on your phone, you're using the internet, most likely you, you have it plugged up to electricity right now to charge it, right? You probably pause the DVR to do this, right? I mean, everything we do, everyone does. The only reason people don't do it is because they don't take the time to understand it. See, I personally believe that the reason people don't do ACN is they don't understand what we do because it makes too much sense. 
The problem is, as leaders, when we get started, we're excited, but a lot of times we point that excitement into selling versus explaining versus keeping simple. So just to wrap this up, I hope this has been effective. And, and what I want to do is I'm going to take just a minute for any questions here in just a second. But I just want to re recap, present effectively, qualify fast, and master promoting the next event, minimizing your time frames between everything. But real quickly, anybody have any questions regarding this? And we'll cover those here for just a minute. Let's see if I can figure out how to see them. There we go. I see a lot of people on. I'm excited for everybody. Uh, Ruman, hey, buddy, regional vice president. Uh, Mr. Manny Provenzano, platinum regional vice president. How are you? Any questions? I'm trying to see if, uh, if I have to scroll to the top to get the questions. Maybe not. Maybe we're not going to do questions. Hang on a second, guys. <laughs> All right, any questions before we close out? Was it, was it effective? If it was effective... Uh, make a note in the comments that it was effective. Great, Deborah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, anybody else before we close it out? Anybody that has any questions? Excellent, Becky. Great. Four separate teams. Absolutely, Daniel. It's all that matters, buddy. Anybody else? Dan, excellent. Glad you were on. Wisconsin's on fire, buddy. Gail, excellent. Simple, simple. Absolutely. Thanks, Ben. Okay, great. Well, guys, here's what we got to do. Let's go make it happen. I said this in my at the convention, excitement without action is just hype. So let's go take the information and, and let's go take our businesses, each of us collectively, to the next level. And let's take AC into a multi-billion dollar company. With that said, God bless you. This concludes.